but bearable. Right. I've always looked at the uh, the bad weather days being opportunities to get prepared in case that's the case when you're competing at states. Yeah, I mean, you, you have are, to be ready for it. Yeah, and those dates are set. It's not changing. I mean, it, other than the most horrific weather conditions there could potentially be, it's not changing. So you might as well prepare for it. Right. Um, you know, perfect examples last year's cross country season. Mm -hmm. I mean, if there was ever any times to um, cancel a meet or, or change a meet date, it would have been those. But that just compounds the whole situation, so they don't bother to do it. Right. Yeah, we saw divisionals was yeah brutal. Just. And then the conditions, while the, while the the race day stuff wasn't that bad for MOCs, the course. Yeah, the course was was, was awful. There was a lot of people at um, even uh, even New England's. Yeah, New England's was brutal. We like there was a lot of people slipping, falling, mud everywhere. So yeah, you might as well be prepared for that. Yeah, obviously, you know, track conditions are going to be. A little well, not on my track, buddy. Not yeah, well, track. yeah. <laughs> Our track could be just as bad. Yeah. All right, we've got the results from the men's two mile. Jake Winslow, as we said, the winner. Uh, Nine twenty one oh five. That is a meet record. Uh, taking down Joey Jordan's record of uh, nine twenty six point four five. By a decent amount. Yeah. yeah. Five seconds. Set in two thousand eight. Joy Jordan was no slouch either. Were you born yet, Nandavio? I was born. <laughs> I was not very old. But. <laughs> All right, we got Winnicott handing off first. Portsmouth, Portsmouth, like 10 meters behind. Exert about 15, trying to find their handoff partner. Pinkerton Sauhegan. Yeah. A little strung out, but still close. Forrest McKenzie was uh, dragged to a 929.63, which beat last year's time of 937.05 by Lucas Aaron Burrow of, of Brookline, who ended up third here today. I mean, to be fair, to be fair to a. Uh, uh, to Lucas, he did the majority of the work here. Yes. Today. Yes. I mean, he he led for what? Well, seven three, out seven, of eight laps. Yeah, seven out of eight laps. That's so. uh, as much as you get. Guys, step back. Hey. Um, yeah, he, I mean, he basically had everything but the last lap. Uh, in absolutely. Him. From so. the time they started racing in the first lap anyways, which is about halfway through. All right, Portsmouth takes the handoff in first, followed by Winnicunit. Yeah, those two are still pretty close, yep. but they're a bit ahead of... Exeter, Pinkerton, and Milford all took it within a second of each other. Yeah, so it looks like one and two is going to be tight, and then... Portsmouth has opened up a gap, but I'm not sure that it's... You know, sometimes in the 400, somebody gets out of the gate fast and then has a hard time finishing. Other times, yep. people keep it tempered and really crank it up with 150 to go. Yeah, especially if you have, you know, sometimes teams have both distance runners Absolutely, and sprinters yeah. running. And sprinters it, seem to take it out faster. Um, here we go. I can't really tell. We've got a lot of people. Guys! Guys! It looks like Winnicunit has passed Portsmouth. And we're gonna have we're gonna have Winnicunna take this in 410, followed by Portsmouth. I think that's Ellen Baker of Portsmouth, so she's their true distance runner. That's a good uh, good closing lap. That was by a good closing lap. Let's go! Alright, so there we go. Winnicunna takes the girls four by four. We've got two sections of the boys. In lane two, we got Portsmouth, lane three, Winnicunit, lane four, Sauhegan, lane five, Milford, lane six, Alvern, and lane seven, Tingsboro. Fastest time out of this crew is coming from Sauhegan with a 348.33. 
Uh, but Milford and Winnicunit are only three and four seconds behind. Hard to tell who's going to be in it with uh, seed time. You don't times. know. I mean, uh, like we said, the seed time for Pit Pinkerton put them in for the ladies was first. Uh, and Winnicunit would have been the third seed there, but they ended up winning it. So yeah, I mean, it it's depends way early on in the season too. People are trying to figure out who's going to do what, right? You know, who's going to be on your relay? Yeah, I mean, team. basically, a lot of these teams every week you have a completely different relay team. Right, exactly. Um, well, yeah. and depending on what different people have decided to do in today's meet, whether yep. or not they're on it. I mean, if one of your fastest guys just happened to be in the two mile this week, they're probably not running on your four by four. I guess I'll try to get the start of this. We've, they're starting in lane two. We don't have a lane one runner. So we'll Watch Portsmouth leave at least, and then we'll swing around and get them the finishing stretch. I guess with the timing on the outside of the track, the necessity of keeping the inside lane or inside line near the first inside lane open is less of a concern would have been nice if we uh if it could have been a concern to somebody so we could see all the way down it but uh when i first set up the camera we were about 10 10 feet further back and it seemed like a great place to put it prior to anybody showing up for yeah. the meet but once they got here I mean, it works well for, uh, you know, today that they do the full mile and two mile. Absolutely. But for these staggered uh, yeah, starts. Yeah, oh my goodness, yeah, forget it. Tim, Tim had mentioned, because I know when they, they videotaped this meet before, like years back, they had a camera up on the hill. Mm. But the, the hill's been growing in with pucker brush and trees and yeah, it doesn't look too great else. up there. <laughs> yeah, and on a day like today, it would have been pretty rough up there. Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to get these heat sheets or anything like that. Yeah, it has been nice to see, you know, yeah. who's, who's in each Absolutely. race. Careful. All right, coming up into the handoff zone, it does look like Winnicunit has a slight lead. Handoffs can be difficult to tell. Portsmouth, get away from the finish line. Portsmouth number two going out pretty hard. He caught Sauhegan and put a 10 meter lead on him in the first like 150. That seems like maybe that's a hard move early. Maybe a bit ambitious. Maybe a bit ambitious. Guys, stay back, please. Hey. They closed up pretty tight. All right. We've got, again, Winnicunit with the lead. Portsmouth in second, Sauhegan in third. Winners of girls 4x4 four four was Winnicunit, as we said, running 411.13. And that was eight seconds faster than last year's time, set out by Pinkerton. So that's a pretty solid time. If you're beating a Pinkerton 4x4 four four team, you're doing something pretty good. Mm -hmm. Tor. Tori. Please. All right, we got less than a hundred meters till the final handoff. 
It's a we good leg for Winnicunit. Yeah, Winnicunit with a uh, fairly substantial lead at this point. Looks like about 20 meters. They're off to the races. And then it's real tight between Portsmouth and Sauhegan. Sauhegan actually was out in lane two, but they had a better run through on the handoff and actually ended up by the time they left the finish line uh, with the lead. Then we got Milford in Kingsborough. Yeah, so he was one. a bit behind for most of that uh, most of that leg, but um, the handoff was really good. Yep. And now they have about five meters on Portsmouth for a third. Yep. Sometimes it's that you know coming out of that handoff zone with the lead is huge. Mm. Yeah, especially you keep somebody on the outside on lane, the make outside them run a few lane. extra meters. Just even, just even keep them on your shoulder. And it makes it super hard to pass. Actually, Sauhegan and, and Portsmouth have made up some ground. However, it's going to be Winnicunit in 343, 344. Sauhegan anchor had a great leg. Yeah, put about 10 meters on Portsmouth. Looks like we're going to have Milford and Kingsboro. In our second section, we got Merrimack in lane one, Manchester Memorial in lane two, Pinkerton in lane three, Brookline in lane four, Nashua North lane five, Concord lane six, Nashua South lane seven, and Exeter lane eight. And guess who's absent from the Exeter lineup? Jacob Winslow. I think he uh, earned the opportunity not yeah, to Yeah, I think it's, by it's by. fair. Yeah. <laughs> Though, I'll tell you, these last lap probably as fast as like, yeah. most of these guys are running a 400. <laughs> looks, looks like he could go for another lap. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what that split was. Cause, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go back. To, when this video gets posted, I'm, I'm going to go back yeah, and check it I'm out. I'm thinking it's it's got to be... 60, 61? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks Definitely faster, low but, 60s. But you figure they were rolling... They're doing what, about 70s. 70s. Yeah. And he ended up uh, ahead of um, Forrest by 10. So right. it might have been sub-60. That was a sub-60. That's right. an impressive, impressive... I mean, it was definitely low 60s, which even by itself is, yeah. is quick. That was a good race. A great race. That was great unbelievable. You know, I knew a Rumbro would uh, take him to the promised land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. and he did. And I mean, boy, that's a. And Winslow played it right. Well, and but like I, I said, seen Winslow playing with moving to the front, yeah, but he but didn't. That's all I want from New Hampshire high school is yeah. make the most of the day that you're that here you, yeah. because you don't get many good days and if you go no. out there you might test yourself yeah. and you run well and they yeah, did. He certainly did. Yeah, you don't like to see, you know, early meets like this. Some people try to run tactical and no, it's like, I don't. I there's, I was there's no reason for that. I don't know what they went through the the 200 one, but one very fast. No, because it was stacked. I mean, I mean a rumber roll in force were in the second lane, second cap. Yeah. I mean, Winslow was good. He got right out yep. and then looked around. Where is everybody? The strange, yeah. strange thing was, a rumber roll ran most of the race in the second lane. It was, it was off, but he, he, I mean, he really, but when he died, he died. Yeah, yeah, he got, yeah. He well, set, I mean, he set you up good, but he also ran the 4 by 8 earlier. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah I mean, he well, basically held it until... Short, right? About that. Yeah, that kid finished third in New England as a sophomore. Yeah. In the two months, running like a 9, 12, 9, 13. Mm. Oh, yeah, well, he held it basically race. until the last lap and then kind of fizzled out. But Decent. Basically. Did you happen to get the splits of that last lap? I didn't. Yeah. So I, I, we're, we were saying we'd be interested to see what that was. Oh, well, 921 goes to a 917. Nothing wrong with a 917. No, not at all. Yeah. All right, there His we best go. best going in was like a 956 or a 58. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, we're saying that that was probably close to a 60. Yeah. Well, bottom line is, if he can run a 416, right? He can run close to nine. Right. Yep. Yeah. If he really. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no way you're doing 416 and 10 flat. No. So. Well, <laughs> you could, but it's not because you were really meant to run. Right. Run that. <laughs> yeah. If you do, you have definitely have some head issues. <laughs> All right. It's hard to tell, but we either got. Seeing as Pinkerton's down the inside, I would say that they're going to be handing off first. And it's pretty tight, actually. 
And about four teams all together. Wow. Evan! 53-3. Follow that white line out. Who's that from north? Is that current? Current. Quick way. Quick way up there. I got a red fight. White, red, white. got some good speed. Yeah. We actually saw him run indoor uh, before New England's down at BU, and he didn't he didn't look good then. I mean, yeah. so when I saw his his results from uh, New England, it didn't surprise me. I think he had gone around the bend at that point. Yeah, he was caught. Yeah, he looked awful then. He'll yeah. get it back together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it might might be the best thing. Yep, that's exactly what it is. All right, Brookline taking in first, north and second. Pinkerton in third and Exeter, fourth. The Brookline kids that Diaz and who won the mile today. He had a great kick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Looks good on this four, too. Well, he definitely, he definitely looks like he's a distance runner trying to run 400, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 Was that, is that Fisto for Concord? Yep. Because somebody's flying. That Cole Brown 4x800 is last, right? Yes. I don't know if it's last or next to last. But it's one of the last. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's 4x8, then 4x4 for them. All right, Brookline is definitely going to hand off to first. Looks like Nashua North may have put about or kept the gap about the same, but opened the gap on Exeter and Pinkerton. Off the track, Fiston. Just do. Brookline and North are off to the races. North made a big move. Yeah, I guess they did, huh? Guys. We're gonna wait. Exeter. That's Exeter. Just past Pinkerton. Quick, 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 quick. Alright, here we go. Of course, everybody crowding the finish line. We got Brookline leading. Back up. Brookline North. They just went like 331, 332. And the last one through in 340. Can't argue with that. That's pretty solid racing. Very solid. That was a good one. Well, great job. Pinkerton's got three guys lying on the ground. Four. All four of them. <laughs> yeah, you guys sleep. This is a sleepover. A video of that. Four Pinkerton guys laying there together. Oh, they just got up. <laughs> Having a slumber party here. Weather's finally nice enough you could. Yeah. Beautiful now. It's a seven track meet. I'm pretty much sure, isn't that why I said? Maybe when we start picking up that we're going to yeah. good weather. Let's have this meet at one. All right, so there's the National North invite. Call it the rainy day invite, maybe. Uh, brought to it, yeah, brought to us by Runner's Alley. And uh, catch you later. Yep. Bye-bye.